Hey everyone, so today I am doing a video on how I added an elastic backing to my dress. This is a peony pattern marigold dress which has a button closure, but I decided I wanted elastic uh, backing instead. So I went ahead and I decreased the back pattern piece by one inch on both sides, leaving me with a two inch opening in the back. And my elastic uh, center piece um, I cut it out the length about three times the two inch, so six inches in length, but the same height as my pattern piece. Now I'm going to use the exact same seam allowance when I stitch across the top of this fabric piece, but this is just showing you it's about three times. So once I've stitched straight across, I want to go ahead and just kind of make open the seam allowance and iron it down. You want to make sure that everything is nice and crisp because you are going to be doing these elastic casings and you want to make sure that your fabrics line up and nothing is either pulled up or pulled down. So you want to make sure it's as crisp as possible. I decided for this dress that I was going to do three elastic casings leaving a one inch at the bottom because I need to add my skirt and I will need to leave room for that seam allowance and a space between the elastic and the seam allowance for the skirt. So I went ahead and I marked it across with my fabric pen and it all depends on how or what elastic you want to use but I use quarter inch elastic for this project. So here you can see I've stitched my lines across my markings and I am ready to pull my elastic through. In this case, I just stretched out the elastic to the length, to the six inch length, and that's how I decided what the length of my elastic should be. You should probably take measurements so that you know exactly how wide um, you want your, your casing to expand. So once you've done the first elastic, you can go ahead and thread the rest of the three. I have this nifty little tool to help me. And this is the finished product. You are now ready to attach it to your bodice piece once this is done. So here we are, the back elastic right sides facing. You want to put it on top and then clip it in place um, just so it doesn't shift. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead, take your lining piece in the back and flip it over and on top of your piece. And it gets sandwiched in between. And you just want to make sure that you line everything up. The elastic does cause the height of this piece to kind of shrink a little. So you want to go ahead and stretch it out. Make sure you match your your corners and definitely the top and the bottom so it's nice and neat and then stitch straight across. Now that technique was done on both sides. I didn't show it but exact same step for the other side and when you're done it should look like this. Now you can tell that my back piece is a lot shorter than my front piece and that's because I am stretching this out so it fits and stretches perfectly. So this is what it should look like on the inside and you can go ahead once you've made sure that everything is stitched the right way and nothing has gotten caught. You can go ahead and trim that seam allowance down because the elastic is kind of bulky in the seams. And that's it. That is how easy it is. Thanks for watching.